Hey, what is up, Questers? Today we are checking out Simple Planes VR on the Quest 2, which launches today on App Lab, and there's a link down in the description. Simple Planes VR gives you access to the Simple Planes library of aircraft, boats, land vehicles. A lot of what people have created in Simple Planes can be used in Simple Planes VR, and it even uses VR interactions to flip the switches, grab onto the flight stick, increase the throttle, lift off the ground in a helicopter. Let's go ahead and jump in and check out Simple Planes VR on the Quest 2, right now. All right, here we are in Simple Planes VR. We're sitting in the cockpit of a P-47D Thunderbolt, I think it's called. We got our flight stick right here. We've got all the controls. Every plane has different controls. This even, even has guns. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna push our throttle. It's gonna throttle us up. There we go. Let's move down the runway, grab onto the flight stick. We're probably up to speed enough. Let's pull up. There we go. We're in the air. Look at that. We are now in the air, and you can fly around. You can even do full barrel rolls if you want, as long as you don't crash. <laughs> you got all your instruments on your panel. Even uh, fuel. I believe you can run out of fuel, actually. This, I'm assuming, is like with the pitch and the yaw. Which one's which? The red one? I'm not sure what that one is. I don't know. I'm not a flight person. You can control things with the analog sticks as well. In fact, there's, I'll show you in a few minutes. You can actually... Uh, go in a boat. There's not just planes in this. There's also boats and ground vehicles, uh, but you have to use in the boat that I used You actually have to use um, The s Control stick like the joystick because it just wouldn't work. This is really an open world um, There's areas you can discover and unlock and as you discover them you unlock them and you can actually spawn enemies, too Let's go ahead and do that really quickly. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you can also have different views of the airplane Which is pretty awesome. You got a flyby view here, which Flies by. Whoa, just like that. Okay, let's go back to the interior. Here we go. Here's the menu system. We're gonna go ahead and add an AI. Uh, World War II fighter. There we go. It's spawning a World War II fighter. Oh, look at that. There it is. Headed right for us. Oh, I think we destroyed it already. Oh, I blew its wing off. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and go back. See if we can find that sucker. Where did it go? Did I blow it up all together? I might have destroyed it entirely. All right, I think I blew it up. But anyways, you can spawn fighters in this. You can even open up. Oh, I forgot to take the landing gear down. Let's see. Zero throttle. Oh crap. That just bottomed us out. <laughs> this one I think opens up the. That's well, probably. Oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> it was catching the wind and making it so we we're gonna crash. So there's one fighter here. I'll show you what it does when you crash too, just for the fun of it. Let's pull right into the ground, shall we? Oh no, we're gonna crash right into the ground. Oh, there goes the propeller. Here we go, and uh, boom! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> so we're back at the menu system now. There's different game modes. That's a sandbox. You can do combat. There's tons of different combat modes. There's racing. There's challenges. Landing on a carrier, crosswind, landing, short landing. The sandbox allows you to pick a place and fly. Um, this is all the unlockable places. Apparently, you can unlock them by finding them. I have not found any yet, but I've just been having fun playing around. Look, the Bandit Airport. We'll do that one next. And let's select that. And for airplanes... It's craft here. I've got my favorites here. I did. Don't do that one. It's not designed for VR and it doesn't work very well. You could do some stock crafts here. There's also uh, the online best ones and it'll download the best ones online. Ooh, look at that one. That one looks pretty freaking cool. Maybe we should try that one. Tactical wheelchair. Ooh, that's interesting. But there's tons, like, and there's always getting updates. Hey, look, you can even fly the Razor Crest. That's challenging. I tried that. It didn't really work all that great uh, for VR, anyways. I couldn't figure out what I was doing. It could just be me. But, you know, it is what it is. I favorited a couple that I wanted to try. Um, I did the Thunderbolt already. I wanted to try the Cobra. See, the Boeing, it doesn't... It works with the sticks, but it doesn't work with actually grabbing stuff because you're too far back in the cockpit. Let's try the Cobra, though, because I wanted to show you a helicopter. And what happens is it actually builds it right in front of you. And if you grab something that actually has too many pieces or it's too intensive, it'll give you a little warning right here to tell you that, uh, to try to choose a different one. Not many do that, but, like, I'll show you... This one is huge. 
and see that should pop up as soon as it starts building. Yeah, right there. The complexity of this selected aircraft may cause poor performance. It'll still let you use it, but it might have issues. All right, we're in the pilot's seat here. You can actually switch views. You can do chase view, orbit view. You can also do the co-pilot view. Not sure what that does exactly. Oh, you can use the guns. Okay, activate stuff. Um, now let's do the pilot's view. This is the flight stick here. There's our throttle, I think. What is this? Oh, that lifts us off the ground. Targeting mode. Weapons. Can I turn the weapons on? Oh, countermeasures. Okay, anyways, that's the trim. Lots of... Ooh, the engine, right there. Oh! What the heck was that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again. All right, what was that switch? Arm nose cannon, cockpit light, light sight. That blew us up for some reason. Let's not do that again. <laughs> that's that's the trim. There's the reset trim button right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn on the blade. Oh, we got to turn the engine on first. Oops. Hold on. Engine. There we go. Oh, here we go. We're getting ready. We got full throttle on the props. This will lift us off slowly. There we go. Oh, I think we left our gun there. <laughs> oh, you could deactivate the sight. That's cool. Lights. You can turn the lights on. The cockpit light. Oops, I just... Oops, <laughs> I just jettisoned our weaponry, which must have dropped it. All right, what's this do? Sight. Oh, you can turn it on and off from there, too. All right, what else can we do here? This is the trim. Oh, that's the trim. We don't want to adjust that too much. We got countermeasures. Oh, hold on. Let's fix this. What's this? Arm external weaponry. Oh, I think I already got rid of that. <laughs> but anyways, this is the... Uh, Oh, there's the fuel right there. Oh, that's the trim. Does this move? Oh, it does move when you move the trim. Okay, cool. So you actually keep an eye on the gauges. The vertical speed. What if I leave it, like, right there? Does it go faster? I guess it kind of does. All right, what else we got here? Anything else? Oh, yeah, you can... Oh, crap. Adjust that. All right. Airspeed, 120. I'm not really sure how to go any faster. Maybe if you lean forward. I think helicopters have to lean forward to go faster, right? What if I lean all the way forward? What does that do? <laughs> now we're going kind of fast, I guess. Oh, yeah, we're going faster. All right, that's how you do it. We are going faster. I'm not experienced in flying a helicopter. If the wind's blowing. I can feel the wind. I can hear it, too. What happens if I switch cameras? Chase view, orbital view. There's the co-pilot here. What's this do? Arm the nose cannon. Targeting mode. Is that countermeasures? Oh, it is. Look at that. I can send off flares as a countermeasure. Whoa, look at that. Oh, crap. I think we're going down. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Let's get control here. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. All right, that's the helicopter anyways. Let's try something else. All right, we're in a modern jet now, the F-15. And we're going to attempt to take off of this very short aircraft carrier. Oh, it worked. Pull up. Yes. <laughs> nice. I damaged the fuselage somehow. There we go. Nice. We've got a uh, F-15 we're flying now. Let's take the landing gear up. Whoa, crap. All right, here we go. Oh, there's another uh, landing space right there. What do we got here? I don't know what that does. Oh, that's the trim. Oh. Oh, crap. I think I'm damaging myself. <laughs> oh, crud. Fly. There we go. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's pull over here. Oh, you can pause it. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. I forgot you could pause it. Um, let's do a fighter pilot. We're going to spawn a fighter. Oh, boy. 
There it is, fighter jet. Oh crap, maybe I should slow down a little bit. If I can catch him. Where is he? Where did he go? Full throttle. Where is he? Oh, I don't know where he is, but let's go out to that thing, whatever that is. Can we land on that, you think? I doubt it. Not without a tail hook. I, mean, I think I have a tail hook, but I'm not sure how to engage it. Previous target, target, target. Oh, crap. Um, how do I do this? No, no, not the ground. Oh, this is not going to go well. This is not going to go well. <laughs> Oh, that did not go very well. All right, we're in a boat now, and like I said with this one, you can't actually grab onto this, but it does work if you use the uh, thumbstick. So you can actually full throttle this sucker. Oh, we gotta start it first. I always forget. Start it, might as well turn the lights on. Full throttle. And let's go. Cruising in the water. What's over here? What is that? It looks like some buildings pier of some kind. Can you crash this thing too? Oh, you can. Okay, I damaged some parts to it. Oh crap, I, th I think I damaged the rudder. Oh crap. <laughs> we just went to ground. Alright, come on. There we go. No, oh, I definitely damaged the rudder. Well, that was not good. Look at that. I damaged the rudder completely. Now I'm stuck on land. Well, that was a very short-lived trip, wasn't it? Alright, we're now on the Razor Crest. You can see uh, little baby Yoda would be sitting back there. Here's our little flight stick here. This is challenging to me to figure out exactly what I'm supposed to do. I always, you know, I can't like, what's this? That was to the trim, I think. Um, I can never figure out what I'm supposed to do to get this to work. I mean, I can do it. Let's get all these, let's just activate all this stuff. You gotta pull up really fast because as soon as you... Uh... There, we got into the air at least, so that's good. Oh crap, this is not good. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, at least we're into the air. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, the door's open. Crap, hold on, let's shut the door. There we go, now they're closed. There we go, look at that. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna fly by. Whoa! Oh, we're going into the sky. Headed into the clouds. Oh boy. This is a challenging one to fly. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> hover mode. Can you turn on hover mode? Maybe it'll just hover here. What do you think? Can't tell if it's going down. Are we going down? Altitude. We're actually not going down. We're hovering, I think. That's kind of cool. Okay. That's good. We're not going down. If I turn on off hover mode, I bet you we will. Yep. <laughs> Uh-oh. We're going down. That's not good. This is a weird feeling. We're just at the mercy of gravity. We're headed towards the ground. Throttles down. We got full fuel. Can I, can I pull out of this, you think? Oh, yeah, I can pull out of that easily. I think. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, man. All right, this time we're taking off from the water. Let's see, how do we start this thing? There's the landing gear. What happens if I hit the landing? Huh, okay. Canopy. You can open up the canopy. Now, throttle. There we go. Propeller starts going. All right. Pick up some speed. Well, let's pull up on this. Not quite up to speed yet, I don't think. There we go. Now we're up to speed. There we go. Now we're in the air. Take off the landing gear. Oh, there we go. Okay, what does this do? This is the trim, isn't it? Is that what that is? The flaps. I don't know. 
Oh, what does this do? Group 6 activated. What does Group 6 do? That opens the canopy. Hands out in the air! Very unique kind of uh, flying experiences in each plane. Each one flies differently. Each one handles differently. Each one looks different. You've got to figure out each one how it works properly. Some of them have guns, some of them don't. You've got pretty much limitless amounts of aircraft you can use, which is pretty awesome, really. Let's see if I can land this sucker, shall we? I haven't showed you landing yet. Let's pull up. We're going to pull, turn off of the throttle. We're going to go ahead and coast down to the ground. You think we can make it? Let's try it. I don't know if I should have turned the throttle off entirely, but that's okay. Here, let's open this up. We'll get a nice view of the water as we land, hopefully. Come on. Pull up a little bit. There we go. Come on. Hit touch the touchdown. Let's go. Oh, look at that. We did it. We landed on the water. We did it. Awesome. <laughs> That's pretty cool. There you go. There is some Simple Planes VR gameplay on the Quest 2. What are your thoughts on the game? Visually, it's pretty simple, but honestly, the mechanics for the game are really satisfying. Flipping the switches in the cockpit, taking off in a helicopter for some reason is especially satisfying. Lifting the lever and pulling up off the ground. It's just a lot of fun to play. And if you want to check out the game, you can check it out on App Lab down in the description. Let me know down in the comments if you're going to check out the game and what aircraft you're looking forward to most checking out. And if you want to get the most out of your quest and your quest do don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and the bell icon for notifications and you can check out more of my videos right over there thank you so much for watching stay safe and happy questing